Hello, welcome back, Regal Smith here, and today I'm gonna to teach you everything you need to know about using cardamom essential oil, specifically health protocols, DIY recipes, why you would even wanna use it in the first place, and a sneak peek behind the bottle through doTERRA's co-impact sourcing initiative. Now, when I smell cardamom, it reminds me of my favorite cup of chai tea. It has those spices that we may be used to having around pumpkin season in pumpkin breads or baked goods. It smells warm, uh, calming to me, and absolutely delicious. Like I wanna eat the whole bottle. And you can actually eat doTERRA's cardamom essential oil. So it has supplemental nutrition facts on the back that indicate that it can be used safely internally. And you can actually use cardamom in some of your baked goods, which I'll talk about in a moment. But first, I wanna share with you the emotional properties of cardamom essential oil. So we talk about health benefits, but we also have emotional properties of every essential oil. So according to the Essential Emotions book, which you can find on Amazon, Oil Life, Aroma Tools, I'll have it in my Amazon favorite store linked below, and it is the oil of objectivity, objectivity, and that helps us to see things objectively, take ourselves out of the moment and look at something from a different perspective. It helps individuals to regain objectivity, mental sobriety, and self-control. It assists individuals who frequently feel frustrated or angry with other people. It also comments how cardamom helps individuals stop blaming others. So it's a great oil when we're ready to take responsibility, to allow what is and let go of things outside of our control. Plus, it smells delicious. Now, when we think of the health protocols of cardamom, uh, in the Modern Essentials Handbook, it talks about all the health protocols we can use. And the primary benefits of cardamom are really, when I think about it, it's digestive support and respiratory support. So it helps to support healthy lungs and healthy digestion. Now there's a few other uses in here, but primarily that is how I'm using my cardamom essential oil. And uh, this is a great book also same places that I mentioned, you can find the other one and also in my Amazon favorite store. Now, when we talk about digestive health, we can use cardamom in a tea. So we can make a hot water with a drop of cardamom, maybe a squeeze of fresh orange to help with digestive health. If you're new to making essential oil infused teas, I'll have a whole blog and previous video you can check out with different combinations. And as I go through this video and share with you how to use cardamom, don't worry about writing everything down. After the video is over, you can check out my blog on cardamom essential oil uses, get all the recipes I mentioned and more. So don't worry about taking notes. Now, another way that you can use cardamom for digestive health is to add it to your beverages or your baked goods. So cardamom can be added to the doTERRA protein. So a chocolate protein shake and a drop of cardamom is so good. It tastes like if chocolate and a chai tea made it and you had this delicious frozen chai drink with chocolate, that's kind of what it tastes like. Plus it gives you that extra digestive health and uh, extra amp and flavor. I have some people who add cardamom to their coffee every day or their matcha tea. I myself find that a whole drop is a little too strong for me. It has a very powerful flavor and it can easily overpower the drink for me. Now, if you're a cardamom fan and love, love, love that flavor, then do a whole drop, but maybe start with less. You could do half a drop. So on a spoon, just a little tiny bit, or if you just want to really experiment and see if it's for you, or you just want a little tiny hint of cardamom, then take your toothpick, dip it in, and swirl it in your drink. And you just get kind of this delicious hint of cardamom. Now, cardamom spice is one of the most expensive spices in the world. And the oil gives us some additional benefits with a lower cost point than cardamom pods. Now, the only spice in the world more expensive than cardamom currently is saffron. And one of the reasons cardamom spice is so expensive is because it takes two or three years for the plant to produce pods after it is planted. So it takes a few years to produce and then the plant doesn't produce a ton of those pods. So that's one of the reasons the spice is, ex is so expensive, but the oil can be harvested in a way that produces a lot of essential oil with less plant material and still have all that beautiful flavor plus the additional benefits that essential oils bring to us. 
So that's one way you can start to add a drop to your baked goods if you wanna experiment with baking pumpkin bread and a drop of cardamom. Last night I experimented and I did a drop of cardamom in my peanut butter cookies and it was so good. Uh, this is just a basic peanut butter cookie recipe. Mine is one you can find all over the internet. It's just one cup peanut butter, three quarters cup of sugar and one egg. So super simple, great for kids to make. And then I did a whole drop of cardamom. Now it is pretty cardamom me, cardamom me. That's a mouthful. So you could do half a drop or a toothpick full. So you can determine what works best for you. And if you're not quite ready for the cardamom flavor, side note, try a drop of clove oil. Clove oil is one of the strongest antioxidants on the planet. One drop has more than a whole quart of blueberries and you can't really taste it. It gives it a little uniqueness and flavor. You can't quite tell what's different. You can just tell it's delicious. So that's another option too, clove or cardamom cookies with peanut butter. It is so good for digestion, cardamom is, that you may notice it's also in our digestive blend. So digest zen is all for digestive health. You can put it in a drop of water and drink it. Same thing with cardamom oil. You can put it in a capsule and take it internally to help with digestive discomfort or just after eating in general. It has in here, in addition to cardamom, it has anise, peppermint, ginger root, caraway, coriander, tarragon, and fennel seed. Now moving on to our respiratory section. So cardamom is great at helping with respiratory health. So our signature oil for respiratory health is Breathe. And it came, Breathe came out years ago before we had cardamom essential oil. It worked, it was awesome. But once cardamom was introduced, they reformulated the Breathe to add cardamom and it works amazing. It is so, so, um, effective at helping to clear your airways when you're not feeling your best. Uh, even I use this before going to the gym, just put a little on my hands, open up my chest before spin class. And when they added the cardamom, it also gave it this really delicious, slightly sweet, slightly spicy aroma that I love. So cardamom can be added to your diffuser blends for respiratory health. You could do eucalyptus, lime, and cardamom. That's a really great blend to get everything moving in your lungs. Lime is a natural expectorant that helps you get everything up when you're feeling congested, plus the eucalyptus, which opens up the airways combined with cardamom is really a combination we like. You could also add extra cardamom to your breathe when you're diffusing it. And you could also try another blend for respiratory health called Arex that also has cardamom in it. Arex has, in addition to cardamom, it has alitzia, grapefruit, frankincense, and tangerine. And if you're not familiar with Arex, it was developed specifically for highly polluted large cities as a way for people to diffuse this in their home to help give their lungs a little extra detox from the, the city's pollution. It is now available to everyone. I diffuse this whenever I go to a hotel room. I travel with it with my pilot diffuser. I also, a couple years ago in Colorado, we had a lot of wildfires and the air quality was awful. It was so smoky. This was one we had going 24 seven in our house to help purify the air within our own home. And it smells delicious, I love it. Another thing you'll notice about cardamom is it is in our breathe drops. So these are the respiratory drops to help open your airways. So it's basically your breathe oil and a few other essential oils and cardamom and these work really quickly. So if you're looking for a good drop, the breathe drops are awesome. Now, another cool thing about cardamom essential oil, it's one of the top 10 essential oils that have the biggest impacts on the communities where they're grown. This is part of our co-impact sourcing series that we've been talking about for several weeks. I'll have a total of 10 oils in this series and the cardamom in particular is sourced from Guatemala and Honduras with doTERRA. So this has provided uh, hundreds of drops in both Guatemala and Honduras where people would not have had the ability to provide for their families. So these are both very poor and impoverished communities. A few things that doTERRA has been able to do in addition to teaching people how to start their own business. So they're teaching the farmers how to create a cash crop, how to get paid the same day, and how to farm land that would have not been able to be used. So basically teaching people how to create and have a sustainable income through their own business. They have also been doing a six year transformation to help with the most basic of needs. You guys, they've been helping to 
build indoor stoves for cooking. So think about how fortunate many of us are. I think most of us watching probably have an indoor stove. So this is something so basic. They've been helping install hundreds of indoor stoves, a vocational trade school to teach business. They have provided a lot of relief after the 2018 El Fuego volcano eruption that really devastated a lot of these communities, what little they had, and they're helping to rebuild. They've also been able to help with development programs, including building schools, medical clinics, providing something as simple as new bathrooms and toilets and roofs in some of these schools so the children can have um, a toilet, a bathroom, and a roof when they go to school. So really starting with the basics of what these people need. And they have something really cool. Uh, it's a new training center that they built along with Choice Humanitarian, and they funded this program together. And this new training center is called Seek Your Path. How fun is that? And it's all about a vocational training center to help to teach ways to break the cycle of poverty. So that's just a sneak peek of what happens when you use cardamom essential oil from doTERRA or the products that contain cardamom. If you wanna hear the whole series of these co-impact sourcing, I have a playlist on YouTube along with blogs that are coming to be added about all the uses for these oils you can check out. If you need any wholesale essential oils from doTERRA, I can get you started through wholesale pricing on my blog at blissmama.com. Follow the shop link below. And if you have any questions or favorite uses for cardamom, drop them below and I will get back to you. Hope you have an amazing day. We'll see you all next time. Thank you.